Hello and welcome to this video. So today, as you can tell by this brush, we are painting. Um, we're not going to paint this room just yet, but we are going to paint the kitchen. Thank you so much to all of you for your input in the last home updates on the paint color in this room. So I got four different paint color samples that um, I'm going to try out on this wall. From there, I'll decide what paint color to go for. A lot of you had really good recommendations and reasons for what paint color you were going for. Mostly blue, but I did see a lot of yellow as well. Um, but yeah, let's put it on this wall and see how it looks. Oh, also my family is coming today. Uh, my parents and two of my brothers. My dad's gonna help me with a project around the house. And then, um, yeah, otherwise they're just visiting. My brother needs a haircut, so that's why he's coming. <laughs> my mom cuts all of her hair. Now let's move this artwork. The first color we're gonna use is the blue. So this is called Parma Gray by Farrell and Ball. Uh, is it focusing? Okay. Yeah, so let's put this one on first. Now that we're painting this, uh, we have to commit to actually painting something on this wall. And then this next color is called light blue. Um, it's a little bit more gray. Well, I guess a lot more gray than this blue above it. Okay, that's a lot more gray than I thought it would be. Now we're going in with the yellow. This is called Hay. Uh, there is another yellow that I have as well. So this color, I didn't realize, it's also pretty gray. The next color is Dorset Cream. This one is very buttery. It's like a lighter version of Hay with less gray in it. This one looks really buttery to me. I'm gonna wait for these to dry and then go over one more coat for each of them and then you guys put in your input and what you think. So I'm pretty sure not this one because it does look really gray. Um, I'm liking the blue a little bit more. Yeah, this one? Yeah, I'm liking it more than I did before. What about the yellows? This one? Yeah. yeah. This one I feel like is too yellow, like everywhere. So now we're back <laughs> to these two again. Sometimes it's hard to show colors on camera because the way that the camera processes the colors is different than in real life. But I tweaked some settings, so I think right now what you're seeing is pretty accurate to what it looks like in real life. So I wrote a little list down, the pros and the cons of each color. Let me go get it. <laughs> For the blue, we have that it complements the warm tones of the wood, also complements the red of the brick. It offers a lot of contrast. Blue is a soothing color for a bedroom. That's what people were saying, and I agree. And also blue is my favorite color. So those are the pros. The cons is that I feel like it might overwhelm the space, especially if we paint the ceiling blue. Like it'll just feel super blue. Maybe perhaps the blue would be too contrasty for a bedroom. Uh, so yeah, those are the cons for the blue. Pros for the yellow is that warm on warm is a pretty safe option and typically it always looks good. I like that the yellow feels different. I don't see that many rooms painted yellow. So I feel like that's kind of fun to experiment with something that I don't see very often. The cons, if the room is yellow with all of the warm tones that we have in here, plus the sun, it might look too warm and like very yellow and that might be overwhelming in itself. And um, yeah, like because we have a lot of warm tones, things in here might start to look a little bit too earthy, a little bit muddy. And another con is that if it's yellow, everything will kind of blend together a little bit. Right now, I'm leaning towards the blue. And also so many of you guys said blue. Um, so if I paint it blue and it looks bad, it's your guys' fault, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on it, think about it, um, look at how the colors change throughout the day. And the next home updates, this room Hello, will be everybody. painted. Hello, 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 here, here, here. This is cute, but will you get this? Facebook Marketplace, 20 bucks. Oh, where? Facebook. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, look at how big she got. 
There's this green panel roofing that's on the top of here and it creates this really aggressive green cast on everything in this area. I think the camera is going to be color balancing it or white balancing it. Um, but yeah, this area is super green. So we're going to replace this with clear panel roofing. These are the roof panels that we're going to put up instead. They're clear, they're going to let more light in, and it's not going to make the kitchen and the dining room green. My dad's putting that up right now. While he does that, we are going to start painting the dining room. In my last home updates, I asked for your thoughts on the paint for the dining room, and the vast majority of you said green on the ceiling, so that's what we're doing. We're taping and covering any remaining furniture, and then we'll start with the primer. Yeah. Put a lid over. Okay, we're on home. <laughs> Have we turned the AC? Yeah. Um, so it's the next day, and we have the primer on. And I think this may have been the wrong decision. It really does bring the ceiling down, um, but it's just the primer, so it's like this dark blue color. Um, and we already have the primer on, so let's just see this through. It might look horrible, but we're already this far, so might as well just see how it turns out. But either way, it's kind of fun. I'm learning how to paint, perhaps learning what not to do, or maybe it'll come out amazing, and this was an amazing risk. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna get back to painting. So I know this room looked good all white, but every room in the house is like this and it feels monotonous at times. So I wanted to switch things up and I want to get a better understanding of paint and colors when it comes to interiors. So I'm pushing myself to paint something. This is my first time ever painting a wall or a ceiling in a house. We also signed another year lease for this place. So we'll be here for at least another year. As I started putting on the paint, I was scared because it comes out extremely yellow and honestly a bit gross but once it dries, it becomes a nice, rich green. Also note to self, get a paint roller extender. That would make this job so much easier and saved so much time. I finished painting the first coat and it looks way better than it did with the primer. Um, like I'm actually thinking I kind of like it, which is so amazing because last night when we painted the primer, I went to sleep um, honestly, like, I'm not depressed, but I was really sad because I was like, wow, this was a horrible decision. Um, like, I just felt so bad because I've messed up paint before. I, we just painted it back to white. So I thought this would be another situation where it would just look bad and we'd paint it back. But I actually really like this green. I was like, I'm never touching paint ever again because I was like, wow, this is the worst decision I've ever made. But kind of like it so <laughs> yeah i'm really happy so this still needs to dry and i need to get another can of paint um but yeah i'm wanting to finish this tonight it's been oh sorry winnie winnie's on this chair next to me um it's been about four hours since i last talked to you guys and the ceiling is dry and now i can apply the second coat i took a little break and i watched the boy and the heron i'm not done yet but so far i really like the movie can we go back to painting again. Also, this light is coming in really handy because at night this room is pretty dark because we don't have that much lighting in here. Let's finish this up and I'll do a reveal of it tomorrow when we have some light in here. But I'm thinking it looks good. I think it looks better in real life than it does on camera. Um, but I'm excited to see how everything looks with all of the furniture back in its spot. been a couple of days since I last recorded and that's because I wanted to make sure I knew how I felt about the paint and the color in this room and I'm happy to say that I actually really like it and it's one of the first times like we've really painted a room before so 
I'm very happy with how it turned out. I love the color. I think it works really well with the wood and it's very warm. So I was honestly super, super scared when we first put on the primer. It looked crazy and it immediately really lowered the ceiling. I didn't fully understand what people meant when they were like, oh, it's gonna lower the ceiling. Like I knew it would make it feel lower, but it really did feel like the ceiling was coming down on our heads. But after we put in the green, after we started getting like the warm green color with the paint, I was like, okay, maybe this is gonna work. Maybe it's gonna look good. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I think, I wish I could see what the room would look like if it's all painted green. Like I wish I could just swipe through options and see what it looks like, but uh, life isn't so easy unless I get someone to render it. I'm really happy with how it is right now and we are definitely going to leave it for a while. So this gives me a little bit more confidence now to paint the bedroom. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but um, the paint color in this room is Bancha by Faro and Ball. Now that we have this darker green ceiling in this room, I feel like this room needs something to ground that darker tone and the green color um, and make the ceiling connect and be cohesive with the rest of the room. So let me reposition you. I've been considering changing out these curtains for a while because at one point we babysat our neighbor's dogs and they scratched up the curtains and they are very messed up on the bottom. So I'm thinking of switching them out to green ones um, just to tie in the green from the ceiling uh, to the rest of the room. So we're 50-50 about the curtains right now, but I did order dark bamboo shades that are very similar to this console. Um, so that way we can have roller shades on each of the windows just to give the sides of the room a bit of a darker color because it's very light over here. And also add some texture with the bamboo wood and I've always liked the look of roller shades. Um, and then you can use them in conjunction with curtains to give different levels of privacy and also to create some layering and texture and materials and color. All those good things that make a room look more interesting. So switching this out from the green paneling to the clear paneling isn't anything super crazy, like design wise, but it really just changes the feel of this place so much more. It also offers like a great area for me to grow my plants. Um, so it's almost like a greenhouse because this is, I believe this is what people would use for the roof of greenhouses. It blocks like the really harsh hot sun, but it still lets a lot of light through. So I have a lot of my bent ficus here that I have growing because um, they grow really well with a lot of light. Oh look, and there is Miss Winnie looking very cute. She's been super curious lately about going outside. We started letting her on the balcony. Here, my Hoya Linears is blooming. I've been growing it outside um, ever since we moved into this house, actually, because I think Chris doesn't really like this plant. He says it looks like a witch, like bog witch hair. Um, and then ever since he said that, I kind of see it too. But I still think this plant is beautiful. But it is flowering. These, I think these are my first, are these my first ever Hoya flowers? I think they might be, but the flowers smell so good. It smells citrusy, like citrus and flowery, <laughs> citrusy and flowery. So this store we painted in a home updates from a really long time ago. I think this was one of like the first things I ever painted in this house. And I really like this color. It's more of a greenish blue and it's on the cooler side while the green that we painted on the ceiling is warm with yellow in it. So these two greens just don't go together very well. Um, and I already knew that this would happen. so. I have some extra paint from the ceiling, which is the Bancha color. And I feel like this could tie in the ceiling with this side of the house. Or I also have this lighter green that I really like. It's called Yi Bridge Green, and it reminds me so much of this green that I found while I was in Ireland and Dublin. And I just thought it was so beautiful and fun and playful. What I'm gonna do is swatch the colors onto the door just to get an idea of what they would look like. Um, okay, so now I need to put on my painting clothes. Let's do a transition. I'm gonna snap my fingers and I'll be in a different outfit. Okay, if that looked really stupid, I'm just gonna cut that out. Okay, this is the Yee Bridge Green and then this is the Bancha. First, I'm gonna go in with 
the Ebridge green. Oh, this is such a fun color. It honestly covers this really well too. And then here is the Boncha. Chris and I decided that we like this green, but it's a bit too vibrant for this room and a bit too light. So we're gonna play it safe and go with the same color as the ceiling. And then I put yellow on here just to kind of see what it would look like. Okay, so I'm gonna sand and then tape and then paint. I don't have a small paint roller, so I'm just gonna use this big paintbrush that I have. Okay, it's looking a little bit um, baby vomity, but I think once we get the second coat on, it'll look really good. <laughs> done and I really like how it looks. I feel like it ties the dining room and the entryway together really well and it brings in the green color somewhere else in the space that isn't just on the ceiling. Okay now let's head upstairs because um, yeah I have some more updated thoughts about what we're gonna do with the upstairs bedroom. So I've really been tweaking and looking at the mood board that I created. I found this really cool blue fish coverlet that is gonna look so nice on this bed. And also I'm looking at my phone because I'm looking at the mood board. And then I also found this really beautiful like vintage Scandinavian tapestry to put over this bed, which I think is just gonna look so nice. And then I also got in contact with the lighting brand Louis Poulsen, Louis Poulsen, Louis Poulsen? I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet. Uh, someone tell me how to pronounce that in the comments. I got in contact with someone at the brand and I'm getting gifted some lights, which is amazing because their lights are so nice. We have a couple of wired lighting fixtures in here. So there's this one over here. It's nothing super special. It's just like a bulb, a big bulb that's there. So that one will be switched out. And then there are two hanging pendant lights right here. Um, and so we're also going to change them out with some hard wire lights from Louis Paulson. And then this curtain over here, we're going to move it and then replace it with bamboo rolling shades because we never really enter from this area. Um, this is the closet and there's another entrance on the other side of the room. So we just use these curtains to block it so that way um, it's not just like a weird entrance into the closet that's at the side of the bed. So I don't know like what I should paint. You know, should I paint the trim? Should I color drench? Should I only paint the walls, leave the trim? and then leave the ceiling white. I'm like not really sure what to do because of the way that this room is set up. Okay, so the molding that's up here is only on the chimney portion. And then there's like this little wooden dowel on the side over here that is also uh, like acting as trim. I don't, I don't know the correct terminology for these things. And then there's no trim at the top here where the ceiling meets this wall. But on this side of the room, there is a trim so it's just kind of weird how it's not consistent throughout the entire house. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we have a lot of laundry. It is laundry day, so ignore that. And then in this entryway, there's trim on this side and trim on the top, um, but no trim on this side. So I'm like really not sure how I want to paint this because I think ideally I would leave the trim white, but I don't know if it would look weird since there's no trim on this side. And then I'm also unsure of how I should paint this area. I was thinking maybe I could cut it off right here and leave this white. I think that could look interesting. Or I could just paint everything, including the trim. Does that mean that I should also paint these support beams or leave them white? I don't know, I'm kind of confused on how to go about this. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Like this room is just not super straightforward at all. Oh, and then there's also the dowel trim in this area. But then there's none on this side of the room. It's just such, it's like very inconsistent. So it's making me a bit confused. And I feel like if I don't paint the trim and I leave it white, you'll see these like kind of strange inconsistencies throughout the 
room. So let me know how you think I should go about this. I'm very curious to hear what you think. That is it for this home update. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and in the next one, we will be painting this room and then also put curtains in the kitchen, which I'm really excited about because it is kind of scary at night in there because you're just like enveloped in windows and outside is all dark and you feel like you're in a little cage or terrarium or aquarium or something. Um, but yes, okay, thank you for watching. See you later, goodbye.